Hey, and welcome back to the elephant in the room. So, the disclosure team and David Clark have brilliantly described who took the photograph, when the photograph was taken, how the photograph was taken, the type of camera, the type of lens, the type of film, possibly identifying a harrier, almost definitely identifying the spot in Calvin where it was taken. But they're ignoring the elephant in the room. What's the thing in the middle of the photograph? Without the craft, it's a pretty Scottish landscape with a wee harrier. But there's a flying saucer in the middle of the picture. <laughs> and what's happened is, on my channel, I'm getting tons of people are saying, Professor, why are you still discussing this? The Disclosure Team and Alien Addict have proved what it is. No, they haven't. <laughs> They've discussed how, where, and when. What's the thing in the middle? And in my humble, open-minded opinion to know what it is, we don't know. We have an unknown photographer who might eventually come forward. We have no other witnesses. We don't have radar evidence. This craft, if it is a craft, was never seen before. It was never seen afterwards. Okay, sure, there was triangular type craft, but not like this. It has no visible means of propulsion. It has no wings. It has no cockpit. In the photograph that's turned up, we can't see if the object is metallic, if there's rivets. The freelance photographer Stu Little says that he saw on the original or duplicate negative as much more detail to the point where he describes the object as metallic. He possibly saw metal that was deformed to stop it oil canning, which is a, a standard procedure in aerospace. He didn't say he saw rivets, but he described the plane as metal. Well, that doesn't really make any sense. Even an amateur home builder would put a coat of paint on a plane. Why would you fly a secret stealth aircraft in its raw aluminum or titanium state? You, you wouldn't. So there's a lot of big questions yet to be answered. Let's not call this case closed. So great kudos to David Clark and his team and to Alien Addict Channel for answering some of the peripheral questions. But let's not ignore the elephant in the room.